and with me is Grox, whom we have not heard from this season. So how are you doing, man? Great. And you? I'm doing well. Um, I do want to ask you a quick, quick question before we get started on the match, which is, uh, has Ambrose touched base with you guys lately? Like, uh, is he proud of the team for staying in contention? Because the third playoff spot is still pretty close. Yeah, we've been in, in touch with Ambrose, and uh, he's he's dropping by to talk to us, to try to give us, uh, like, uh, um, how do you say that? Uh, like, uh, sorry. Just, uh, just kind of a yeah. pat on the back. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, that's cool. And uh, I did suspect that was the case because I do get the impression, you know, Ambrose is somebody who knows what lineups he wants and he probably is um, guiding the team a bit. But um, you're one of the new players to come on the team. Are you liking ACFL so far? Yeah, it's 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 really great. Uh, I'm, uh, well, most of the uh, Quicksilver is really new to mm -hmm. ACFL. Just, I think, Nazarene is the only one that had played before. That's true. And is he helping you guys a little with uh, with leading the team in the field? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, I do think that you have uh, some strong potential against the caster teams in the comp. Uh, you were one of the first Shukinjas to actually make it known that the class was viable and that they were pretty good when gunning for mages. So I'm excited to see how you do tonight, and um, I wish you luck in your game. Thank you. Uh, so who do you think is going to win this match? I always ask. Okay. I think it, well, stars. Okay, so you're betting on stars. Yeah. Well, we did talk a little bit about... um. The teams before, I do want to say it was very, very close. And the big mistake Sharks made last match was they didn't interrupt Saigash when he was in the flag room for a long enough time for them to do so. Um, if you, There were some forum posts by the Stars at the end of that game, and they were pretty low across the board. So I think that no matter what happens, it's important KCS gets pressure, but uh, it's going to be a close match. Okay, it's starting now. Uh, I think they're gonna try to do the same, like uh, summon a uh, Dracolich and get Bodrum on. Yes. Riding already. Yes, I agree with that. KCS is pushing it though, and Bodrum has not gotten the Draco out yet. Parfrey does think... miss on Azure. <laughs> Dispel protection on Slan, you have to... I mean, it's it's hard in the moment to remember that, but needs to be done. Everyone, in uh, they're getting, like, high damage. Keep yes. Um, actually, Stars is coming out pretty heavy with the damage. Uh, Azure does dip into yellow there with the shield kick. He does get out of there immediately. Merilith and Slan both have Dispel Pro. They may have gotten it back up, but... Azure still taking a lot of damage. He is taking mutilates just from Grindle, Grindle's Bottrum. melee. Is Bottrum sanked? He isn't, no. <laughs> <laughs> Rake does miss on Bodrum. All the bounty skills are missing. Azure it's gets dispelled, spell. but he flees immediately out of that. Um, High damage on Bodrum. He is, but uh, if you did the math on that log, he's got a lot of health, so... Um, Bodrum's not How much mana target. do you think he has? Um, like 2k? Yes. <laughs> Grendel, Grind dispelled. Grindel gets dispelled. But he yeah, doesn't. but it's useless. Uh, Grendel can get uh, like uh, just one potion or two and he's back. Yes. Um, well, he's really good at getting out and without fast to bottleneck him getting spells back up. He's hurt. Meryl hit, gets hit with Holy Smot, which doesn't... Uh, yeah, that's a Hail Mary. Gun. It doesn't do anything. Um, Azure sure does dip into red, which this is bad news for stars. Um, because Bodrum and Kimpaz can heal themselves and okay, each other, Dracolich. but they can't heal Azure. Kimpaz dips into the red as well. Um, we're seeing a sea of yellow here. Bodrum does get hit with Holy Smot. So they're going to start running this flag. That was their plan to uh to uh, lower stars to yellow and yeah 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 both Kimpas 
Kimbaz and Budrum are holes mine or smithing? Uh, no, not Kimbaz, but um, Bodrum is. And what their plan was here was to get that initial pressure out to hurt Kempaz and Azure, and then Holy Smot. And if Holy Smot lands, Bodrum is negated for the flag caps. So yeah. that was a good plan. That was a very good plan by KCS. Azure is going to die. Grindle power swings right off, to, off that dispel. He's going to take maybe two acid blasts here. No, he does get the Sanctuary off in some. Slan takes the spell. He flashes right off that. They keep getting dispelled right off. Uh, oh, damage! Right off skill leg, and that's. I mean, there's nothing they can do about that. It's just that they're flashing the exact moment that the dispel goes off. Flashes uh, two rounds lag. Uh, it's one round. It's just one round of lag, but um, it's still happening. Like the dispel is happening right before the flash. So Stars is engaging the flag running KCS, but they're still uh, Kimbaz, Bodrum, and Azure are all in red. They're all hurt. I hadn't noticed, but Merrily has that flag. He does. Yeah. yeah. And um, if Stars doesn't counter capture, I mean, they're losing this fight anyway. Everybody's hurt. Um, so I, I guess a counter capture wouldn't even matter at this point. It's just uh, KCS is running the flag right across. <laughs> As he does say, Bodrum in reds is 1800 health. I mean, it doesn't matter that Bodrum is in red other than to engage Wimpy. It's just uh, that Azure and Kimpaz are in red does make a difference. And I assume Kimpaz wouldn't mind dying if his team could delay because he still he he has a finite mana pool, so he wants to die yeah. at that point. Yeah, that's a strategy that they normally use against uh, Cook Silver. Yes. Yeah, but they try to like uh, Kimpaz uh, does Kimpaz die. dies. Yeah, and that's not a bad thing. He always wants to be the first one out. Um, Assassin or Invoker are both good to die early, but um, Meryl is running this flag, and he has to be right about at the point. Okay, Sigesh went to the blue flag room. They're trying to. Well, no, he's a. Uh, he's okay. at his his flag room. Yeah, it's triangle. Tearcell and Watts. Um, Tearcell has healed up. He was in yellow earlier, but they're doing well. Um, Bodrum does death shroud, which could be a problem for the melee team. He is on a Draco and he is shrouded, so we'll see what he can get done here. Uh, Grindle still can power swing on that Draco, and power swing uh, is hurting Azure quite a bit. Azure flashed with no sanctuary. Um, they are trying to interrupt the next cap. Okay, Marilith and Grindle are both red. Mm -hmm. They might be killed by Budroom. It doesn't even matter. Stars is in a really good position here because um, all they need to do I mean, if, if they do end up losing this fight, then they just need to make sure that nobody caps while they die on stars because they can still run a 3-2 after that. A horrid uh, Acid Blast by Bodrum on Slan. Yeah. That's 200 damage. Grindle is just focusing on getting Azure down. He's doing damage where he can with the Power Swing. Because that melee team can't really hurt Bodrum at this point other than Mira, who is using... Mana efficient raise, but he's losing the damage battle. Essentially, Death Shroud is for KCS, what uh, AMS is for Stars. It's just very good. Slan is focusing on keeping Sagash down. Again, Stars is just mitigating. Tear Cell picks up the flag. So, Grindle is just focusing on killing Azure. If he, if they do get Azure down and it's just Bodrum, Bodrum can still do some work, but they also don't have blinds. Okay, Azure is down. Yeah, their plan was to kill Azure so that he can't blind the team and everybody can rescue Tear Cell across. Uh, I don't know that they have the monitor to survive this onslaught, especially with the damage that's being taken right now. 
But even if they die on Bodrum, it's not a big deal. Sagash does pick up the flag. He is in red. They can go ahead and kill him, though. Tyrsil has no weapon. He's punching. Grindel gets on Sagash immediately. He's just going to rip him apart. Bodrum is still in blue. He may go to reinforce Sagash. It's hard to say. No, he is just focusing on killing Tearcell, so this is a um, a matter of who dies first. But Sagash is taking a lot of damage, and it's likely he that was just a suicide. Yeah, but Kimpas is coming out in like uh, two ticks. <clears throat> right, but what the only thing they need to do is make sure that the flag doesn't get across to Star's flag room. Um, even if all of KCS wops, they're still in a good position. Sagash died. So who's alive right now? It's Bodrum just... is alive, Grindel, Slan, Merilith is still alive, um, KCS is alive, and then you got Bodrum, and that's... That's it? Maybe. He does get stunned there. If they flee off... Yeah. No, they didn't do it. That would have been an interesting uh, play. Just keep Bodrum stunned for a while. KCS does pick up the second cap here. Two zero. Mm hmm Now it is Do likely. Do you think they're that, gonna No, I don't oh, think okay. I don't think they're gonna get it across. I think Kimbez will probably kill the team. But as long as they don't allow for an early flag cap by stars, they're in good position. The thing about uh, uh card chart is that they have uh, like uh Tirsel can mm -hmm. heal like one one point eight K to everyone. And that's a lot of advantage against the it's other teams. It certainly is. Yeah, you want that spread healing. I mean, that's bards are always good for that reason. Yeah, and and re really, clerics are not that good uh, healers compared to a bard. A bard mm -hmm. can kill the the whole team at the same time. Well, I think it's great for spread pressure. Like a song of healing is especially good against invokers and other things that have AOE damage. Um, yeah. You know, clericals might arguably have more healing power on focused targets. You want both in there. It's it's very nice. Yeah, this... but against an assassin, you get flash and you can do, you can't uh, do much. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's, uh... that's true. That's true. You can mass heal, but the lag on that is excruciatingly long. Yeah, KCS and also is just the enemy. Going, yeah, KCS is going for it. They're just making a safe play here. Even if Tear Cell dies, um, it doesn't make a difference. They're still getting extra damage on stars, and stars came out fresh. Yeah, Kimpas is getting stunned. And he went AMS. Yeah. Tear Cell is still running it across. But Romis. Tearcell is close to his flag room. That is a win. Yeah, they won. Wow. And that's a, uh, that's like inc a, that's a incredible. really fast match. That is incredible. Well, 3 O's are always fast, even if they're competitive. Um, but that's an incredible game. Do you think the Stars are playing with that same team on the next match? Let's see. They're playing against QS. Well, yeah, they're playing against us. As double mage, there's always the question of if you want to run double mage against you. Um, and it's, <laughs> I don't, um, I would be uncomfortable running a deep mage composition against Grox. Um, especially when you have other options like Fardok who can, uh, increase the healing power like well over QS capability. Um, so yeah, I probably wouldn't feel double mage, but uh, it's also hard to get into stars head. Um, they, you ha I have to go into a stars match trying to think of how uh, the Lynn and McCartney team of Bodrum and Kempaz are gonna strategize because they have uh, feels capacity for daring. Like they'll put a lot of weird compositions in there just to test with them. But um, I do want to let you go, man, because you're next over. Okay. Um, well, thank you for inviting, and 
And I know I'm a little bit quiet on the match, but uh, thank you again. It's okay, man. And uh, good luck with your match, okay? I hope we see more of you later. Okay, thank you. Later. All right.